Welcome to CAPSPAN, the nonpartisan political news network. I'm Izzy Lott, and today we'll be looking over the past week in CAPSPAN's recap of the presidential campaigns. Hillary Clinton and Marco Rubio came together on Monday, June 1st, to announce their candidacy for president. Today, Hillary Clinton and Marco Rubio officially announced their presidential candidacy in front of their colleagues and the world. I, Hillary Clinton, would like to formally announce my candidacy for the President of the United States of America. I'm standing here today to proudly announce my candidacy for the Presidency of the United States of America. Their colleagues reacted with mixed views. President Obama shares his thoughts on Clinton's speech. I feel really good about her speech. She touched on everything that I feel she would want to do in her presidency, and she made a really good speech. We need to accept and support our neglected communities. We must work to ensure that everyone can earn higher wages, maternity leave if they have a child, and let couples marry regardless of gender. We need to accept these tough challenges abroad as well and make sure that we protect our citizens, friends, and allies. On the flip side, Marco Rubio gained plenty of support from his fellow Republicans. Uh, I'm supporting Marco Rubio. I like his stance on um, his pro-life. I, I support that. I also support his stance on education and how we must reform it. The great future that my, car my parents gave me is what I want for all working class Americans that they would be empowered by their education and the economy to attain a better life for themselves and their families, to rise out of the class of the working poor. After a long day of interviews, the candidates finished up with the first press conference of their campaigns. The campaign continues as Hillary Clinton, Marco Rubio, and Bernie Sanders share their opinions on relevant issues. Clinton discusses the importance of protecting citizens inside our country. Uh, well, I am in support of uh, reforming um, the police system. I think that the police are here to uphold the law and to uh, provide justice to our citizens. Uh, I think that it's important to make sure that we recognize uh, most of the hardworking police officers who are working and then also address uh, situations of discrimination in the police departments across the nation. As well as defending those outside our country. We want to make sure that all Americans are protected regardless of where they are in the world. She also stressed the importance of the middle class, reflecting the views that she shared in her speech yesterday. Well, to address the national debt, uh, I think that it all starts with the middle class. If we, have a strong, if we have a strong base, then the entire country will be able to prosper. Marco Rubio began by discussing his opinion on the hot topic of immigration reform. My stand on immigration policy is that I do support immigration reform. However, I am not for barring immigrants from our country. Rubio also tackles other important issues, including global warming. My stance is that the federal government need not put caps on emissions and regulate our environment in this way. However, it is important that we incentivize efficiency. Similar to Clinton, Rubio also discusses the importance of a middle class. I'm very aware of the large amount of people who are 
in the working class who are the working poor trying to make their way into the middle class uh, have an understanding and appreciation for their, their struggle. Bernie Sanders, who recently announced his presidential candidacy, stresses the importance of education reform. One of the greatest crises fa facing our nation today is student indebtedness and the high cost of college. It is obscene that millions of working class families are finding it extremely difficult to send their kids to college. We can make our college education free for every single citizen who wants it. Quickly after his foreshadowing during the press conference, Senator Bernie Sanders announced that he would be running for president in 2016. He is now on the ticket as the lone independent candidate. Bernie Sanders has decided to run for president. Good morning, my fellow Americans. Our country faces more crises in this time than in any other time since the Great Depression. And if you count climate change, then it faces more problems than in any time in our history. To do this, we need a president who will effectively address all of these problems and not in watered down, step-by-step -step things over the next 20 years. We need effective reform and policy now. And to do this, on advice from friends and the American people, I hereby announce my candidacy for president. And now for a word from the candidates. Keep electing politicians who will say or do anything just to hold office. Government is out of touch, lacking credibility and the trust of the American people, recycling unsuccessful policies and using the same attacks on their opponents. Spending is out of control. Foreign and national debt threatens our economic and national security. And typical politicians just don't get it. I'm Marco Rubio, and I approve this message because America is the greatest country in the world. But it didn't get that way by accident. And it won't stay that way if we don't do our part in electing new and responsible leaders. My name is Hillary Clinton. Throughout my life, I've been able to get from a lower middle class family to where I am today. And I want to ensure that the same is true for all Americans. We as Americans live in a country that strives for greatness. Your voices should and must be heard because they do matter, because they are the most important to Your voices are what makes this country what it is today and what it can be in the future. Let's move forward together. Welcome back to Capspan's recap of the presidential campaigns. In the midst of the campaign, other senators and representatives interacted and discussed their own opinions about the candidates. A long-standing feud between Rand Paul and Lindsey Graham was discovered. The details are as follows. Here's the exclusive video captured by our cameraman. On the recent um, statement by Senator Graham about how I am weak need, I would just like to comment on that because indeed I am weak need right now because I just had um, knee surgery. But Senator Graham, I think, meant it in a slightly more negative way, but I understand what he was talking about. You are weak need. With some helpful mediation from Marco Rubio, the two were able to resolve their issue. Uh, Mr. Rubio, I apologize for my rash actions. I was angered by his speech. We're American politicians. We are leading our country towards, towards justice, towards liberty, towards equality. We have to be united and work together. We can't, we can't break into brawling in order to succeed as, as the Republican Party, in order to succeed as a Republican campaign, and in order to succeed, succeed as a democracy. We need to function together 
as brothers and sisters in this American government. After smoothing over the rocky relationship between his fellow party members, Marco Rubio moved to the combined Capspan and CBC set with Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders to begin debates. Hello and welcome to Capspan and CBC's presidential debates. I'm Izzy Lott, and tonight we'll be talking with the candidates about important policy issues for their upcoming term. In your opinion, what is the biggest problem facing America today? How might you work to rectify it within your first 100 days in office? Well, the biggest problem facing America today is that our children are not being prepared with the skills they need and giving the, given the education they need to succeed in the global economy. I would say that uh, making the middle class stronger is definitely the biggest problem that we face today in America. So we need to continue to support the middle class by raising the minimum wage to a livable amount and therefore we can help the entire uh, job industry uh, recover from our recent recession. The f biggest problem facing America today, although there are many problems, is the fact that politicians and the legislative branch in general is owned by the billionaires. To, do, to fix this, we must get money out of politics. Mm -hmm. What is your stance on American foreign policy? Should we pursue an isolationist or an interventionist approach? Well, with everything, I believe that there should be a balance between both. Isolationism is simply not possible in today's global economy, and interventionism is simply not possible with the overstretch of American authority. We cannot afford to use uh, too many of our resources uh, for other nations' affairs. And we must recognize that we have the power to affect global change. However, this means we cannot um, adapt a gung-ho approach and we must work with our allies and instead of simply going in guns blazing. Well, we need to be a force working to protect democracy throughout the world. That means working with other nations using airstrikes and selective attacks, as Mr. Sanders said. Because without safety, without security in our foreign allies and our resources and in our own home country, nothing else matters. If you're elected as president, what would be your overall vision for America in four years? I want to see that America as a whole, the working class, is in a better place than they are now. I want to make sure that those in poverty are given the opportunity to climb their way out of poverty and that those who are unable to are treated fairly and with justice. We need to focus on problems at home. We need to make sure that social issues are resolved, that every American lives in a, in, lives in a country and in a world where their rights are recognized. Following the debates, Hillary Clinton combined forces with the band Selfish Sunday to create a benefit concert for LGBTQ plus rights. Ending her own speech with a memorable metaphor involving M&Ms, Clinton opened the podium to other politicians. Hillary Clinton hosted a benefit Thursday as part of her campaign. I believe that now is the best and most appropriate time to hold a benefit and a rally in support of LGBTQ and women's rights. The event featured a performance from the band Selfish Sunday, as well as speeches from Bill Clinton and Nancy Pelosi. No person deserves to live in fear of discrimination or intimidation because of who they are or who they love. Not here in the United States, not anywhere. Today, as every day, we stand united with lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender people around the world in affirming the human rights and dignity all people deserve. She will fight for your rights and everybody's rights, and fight tirelessly to support and protect her citizens. This woman, this beautiful woman, is the next president of the United States. Let's give a warm welcome to Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton. Over the past decades, that inequality has decreased significantly, but there is still work to be done, and we will not stop until every single person in this country can live knowing that their rights will not be hindered. The candidates finally announced their vice presidential candidates after meetings with the press. 
All three candidates announced their vice presidents yesterday. With that said, I'd like to announce that my running mate will be Senator Rand Paul. I'm extraordinarily happy to announce that Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, United States Senator from New York, is joining the Clinton campaign as my vice president. I would like to thank former Governor Bush and would like to announce that he is going to be on the ticket with me as my running mate. A recent survey taken after the debates shows that Hillary Clinton is in the lead so far with 42.86% of the vote. Marco Rubio comes second with 31.43%, and Bernie Sanders brings up the rear with 25.71%. Here's a look at the candidates' policy platforms. Marco Rubio and Hillary Clinton gave speeches about their policy agendas this past Tuesday. Key to my vision are four main ideas. One, that the gap between the wealthy and the economically disadvantaged must be made smaller. Two, that we strengthen American military might so that it continue, can continue to be a deciding factor in global stability. Three, that all children should have the same right to an effective education. And four, that decisions concerning family affairs are to be decided by the states. Rubio emphasized the importance of lowering taxes. A strong America depends on low taxes and on the greater economic activity they would encourage. Clinton covered a wide array of topics, mainly focusing on preserving people's rights. I am I'm sitting here before you today because I want to amplify your voices and your opinions, because they do matter, because they are what this country is built on. Your voices are what makes this country what it is today and what it can be in the future. As your representative, I will work to overhaul the nation's broken immigration system and give rights to undocumented immigrants without fully opening the borders. I will work with Congress to implement economic policies that strengthen the middle class and close the income gap through tax increases and economic assistance. We also need to make sure that wages between men and women are equal. I will work to defend American economic interests and security abroad while working with other countries to enforce human rights measures. Bernie Sanders didn't make an official policy speech, but he shared some of his ideas with us. I promise as President of the United States to ensure that the rights of all Americans are treated equally and that the working class of America is seen as powerful, if not more powerful, than the billionaire class. Education. I gave my whole speech on that yesterday. We need to make college accessible to all Americans. We need to create jobs. We need to put people back to work. To do this, I have created a $1 trillion plan that will go into effect over five years and will put roughly 13 million Americans back to work, creating and repairing our nation's crumbling infrastructure. Here's a final word from Marco Rubio. My fellow Americans, hit it. Yo, I'm Marco Rubio and I'm speaking the truth. I got sympathy for the working poor and I'm hip with the youth. I want to ensure that our kids succeed to make our country better for the poor. I'll tell you what we need. We need, because I'm the candidate that's running for you as the new American century and that's the truth. This has been Capspan's recap of the presidential campaigns. Today, Americans moved to the ballot boxes to vote on the candidates. Hopefully, this overview has been helpful in understanding what each of the candidates can contribute to America. Tune in to Capspan tomorrow for the election results and stay up to date with our hourly reports on Facebook and Twitter. Again, I'm Izzy Lott. Thanks for watching.